Second time's a charm. We've done adding and subtracting integers. The integers have been positive, the integers have been negative, the integers have uh, they've been having a good time, and the integers have been making us draw a whole bunch of nice little circles, right? Yeah. Let's draw some nice little circles a couple last times. There will be something like this on the test, so don't forget how to do it, but this will be something that you won't be expected need to do for the homework tonight. Directions. Use the subtraction mat of your positive and negative symbols. Draw a series of illustrations to show your work. So let's do that, shall we? I'm going to have black be positive today. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, too. Let's go 125. Perfect. Then I'm going to add a negative 7. Now, is this the one where we have a... Is this the one where we have um, the second number represent how many zeros I introduce? Is that this one, like we did on the homework last night? Sure. No, it's not. Last night was subtraction, remember? Yes. This is addition. Addition, look. So I'm going to have negative be purple. So I'm going to be adding seven negative integers. Three, four, five, six, seven. Now, this is the one that was easier. This is the one, you remember, we were doing uh, farmersonly.com and stuff like that? Remember, we were finding matches, and then when they met something, I'm not going to say somebody, but when they met something that was their match, they were like, all right, let's roll. We are out of here. And when we did that, it was, we have these two that met, these two that met, because positive and negative, they become zero to their friends because they don't hang out anymore. No. And how many of these are just hanging out, having a good time? There are five positive integers that are left. I'm going to make it cool. Make it, well, not cool. Yeah. Five positive integers. You are correct. Moving on. Now, here's the one that you guys love so much from last night. We have the first number represents the original. The original gangsters. No, the original group. So we have 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now, this is the one where some people are having some trouble. I was doing voices, so now my voice is really deep. Um, this is the one that people confuse with being a negative integer. No, it's subtracting a positive integer. So I could write some parentheses right here around this and demonstrate, okay, I need to have a C of how many zeros? How many zeros? Seven, beautiful. I'm just going to do this so it looks more like what we did yesterday. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. These are all positive. But they're not zeros yet because I need to add some purple negatives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So just imagine that in the... Oops, those are supposed to be... Those are negative symbols. Is that going to mess you up? Okay, um, just imagine that these seven couples of integers are about to break up. Okay, that we could look at it like that if, you, if, if the relationship version of it makes sense. So, are we going to take? A, yeah, I got it. I got it. No. Are we going to take away these seven positive or seven negative integers? 
Which ones are taking a job in New York? Yes. The negative. What are we actually subtracting here, though? Is it a positive or negative integer? We're subtracting. We're subtracting a positive. So these positive integers are going to New York to take a job. Or like I did, go to taking off to St. Louis to get a job. Eight years ago. So now we have all these positive integers with negative integers chilling, hanging out. Yes, sir. No, I no, I didn't live in New York. No, they're, that's too close to where the Yankees play, and they're going to East Coast. I don't hate many things. I hate that a baseball team that always beats the White Sox. So we have to rewrite those 12 integers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, there. What? Twelve, yeah. Plus, 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 plus. Hey, less talky, more righty. I'll get out of your way. Nope, because that is not pre-algebra. The White Sox are also not algebra. No. Did you write this yet? Really? Version? Why would I want you to do something other than what I do? So we have that many people hanging out. So what do we need to do? Yeah. We need to match make. Exactly. We need to make some zeros here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And what is left over? Five. Five positive or negative? Five. Positive. Uh, I don't want to confuse you. Five. So let's see. What do you notice about those two responses? Daniel, is it? Rhyme. It's the same answer, yes. So same result. What else does somebody notice? Adam? Same result, but different ways of getting there. Different ways of getting there. Same result. Like using addition to subtract the negative and using subtract the negative. How about same result, different signs? Or different uh, signs in problem? There. Different signs in problem. Different signs in problem. No. So, how are the problem one? In the subtraction problem and problem two, huh? addition in problem one and subtraction in problem two, how are they related? Look at look at something very something in the middle there. How are they related? What's going on there? What do you think? They both. No, no, no. Okay. They both. They both start with twelve. They both end with the seven. One of them is positive. One of them, or what's the sign right in front of that seven? Oh, oh. Negative. And what's the sign in front of the other seven? Oh, oh, subtraction. subtraction. Remember how I said you can't have magic where it just would go. You don't have to write this. You do not have to write this part. Twelve minus seven. That can't be twelve. Uh, twelve and a negative seven. Think about that. Twelve and a negative 7, 12, and a negative 7. Oh. 
No, there isn't. 12 and. I said and. And is positive. But I'll tell you what just happened there. I was, I'm not trying to cut him down. <laughs> the class just went, ooh, like I called him a name. Um, so we have, this is the problem. The second problem uses the additive inverse. The second problem uses the additive inverse. The second problem uses the additive inverse. And I'm going to show you what exactly that is here. The additive inverse. with the rules of subtracting integers. The additive inverse property I just underline it because it's a definition. The sum the sum of an integer integer integer. And its additive inverse is zero. The sum of an additive inverse, or an integer, and its additive inverse is zero. And I'll show you an example. Salud. Yes, Adam? Um, yes, because the absolute value of both of them would be twice the number if you want to look at it like that. Yeah. Yeah, the part that I didn't want you to write down was this. It was up here. Right, so write, like, the yes, write what I write. I'll tell you when I don't want you to write stuff. I know you're done, but you're talking. It's distracting some people over there, okay? Actually, it's kind of... So there's a big gap there. So make sure you have what's written in red as well. And uh, so it draws attention to it. Why don't we box that in? And then there's one more rule, which is keep your hands to yourself. No. Um, to subtract an integer, to, oh, bad handwriting, sorry, it's low. I did it again. In, to subtract an integer, Add its, no apostrophe on that, its. Salud. To subtract an integer, add its additive inverse. Add its additive inverse. And I'm going to write a formula here that you will that will make your examples that we're going to do on the back and also your homework be very quick. And I had people asking me after they started the homework last period, I don't know how to do this. And I'm like, OK, that's all right if you don't know how to. Did you? Where did you look for your notes for this one? Wait, my notes that are in here? Yes. 
Yes! You should look at your notes every time you do homework. Every time you do homework, it should be, your notes are going to be right here, notes, and this should be your work, work. Or if you're a lefty, the other way around, all right? Don't assume that you're going to have the same state of mind when you're doing this tonight as you do right now when you've got me barking at you. So here's that formula. A minus B, that's for any number A and B. A minus B is equal to A plus negative B. And you're going to box these in. So you're like, hey, I should look at this when I'm on the homework. Fantastic. Let's do some examples, shall we? Does everybody have the formula? Everybody has the formula? Formula. Let's do this one. Yes, you are expected to rewrite all of this. Why don't you have anything written in the bottom? Do you have? I see plenty of other writing utensils. Do you have write other pens and pencils in there? No. So just say, hey, my pen exploded. Can I borrow a new one? We are going to rewrite these using that pro. Ooh. We're going to rewrite these negative five, and according to the additive inverse property, what are we going to do? Rob, neat, right? Look at look at the other side of your page on the bottom. Please don't yawn audibly; it's rude. Here's A, here's B. Right, that's the left side of it. Here's A, here's B. We're looking for this side. What is A and B? Yeah. Okay, so we have A plus negative B. Now we have the addition property of integers that you did on Thursday. And when you have the same sign and you're adding them together, what's going to be the sign of those, uh, the sum? What's going to be the sign? We are at a negative. We're going more negative. What's it going to be? Somebody over here? Ryan? Is it Ryan? No, it's not Ryan. I really got to hold on to this thing when I teach this class. And that's not this class. It's over there somewhere. That's not you either? That's not you either. Where are you? There you are. Alex. I was close. Four letters. Alex, what, uh, what's the result that going to be? Is it going to be a negative integer or a positive integer? Negative. negative. Very good, because we are starting at negative 5, and we're going more negative, so it's going to be negative 16. Then I'm going to jump down. To number 10? Yes, ma'am. Oh, yes, the absolute value of the larger, the larger absolute value, that's going to be the sign of it. And we also have that on Thursday. Um, there are a couple different ways of doing this, but um, I, I, I don't do it like this in my head. And some of you might not do it in like this in your head either. So, um, I understand if you do it a different way, but you need to show your work. You need to show your work. And if you're getting a correct answer, that makes me happy, makes you happy, makes the people get your report cards happy. All right. So we're going to rewrite this guy as 312, because that's our A, plus negative 551. We know that uh, the, the definitions we wrote on Thursday, that whenever the absolute value is higher for a negative number, the result's going to be negative. So that means that on a number line, we are at 312 and we're going backwards 551. Yes. 
Okay? So I know that my result is going to be negative. What did you get? Here's what I want you to do. I want you to work on those for the next five minutes. You're going to work on those for the next five minutes and, uh, yeah, work on those independently for the next five minutes. I expect you to write, rewrite every single one. And if you are watching at home, the results of those will be on the link where it says notes here. And you can see all of them written out, not just number one. Take care. You are beautiful.